What's up, everybody? Remy Adelika here. Listen, I'm here in the Bronx in Fordham Hill where I grew up in, in the very apartment I grew up in. And I had this idea as I was here. Why don't I just shoot a quick video showing you guys the place I grew up, especially, specifically for all those people who read the book so you can have a visual of where things happen. So, starting right here, this is the bookcase. My mom always kept a plethora of books. These are books she would make us read, books she would make us write about, all kinds of books, historical books, African books, African art, African art, a whole lot of Africa in this house. Um, this is the kitchen that my mom used to throw down in and cook, and still throws down in and cook. She got it remodeled, so it's a little bit different, but this is where she would stand and watch my brother and I as we would eat, because that dining room table is right there. It used to be right here, all right? This is the dining room table where we would write our reports for hours and hours. These same chairs, same table, sit right here, write, write, write. I hated it, I would complain, but I just kept writing. And then fast forward to this is the coffee table. So I don't know if you remember in the book, on the coffee table, me and my brother were fighting, rolling around under the table. My brother pushed me up, the glass slid off, the crash broke. This is that very coffee table. All right, more African art. This is the bedroom I grew up in. Yeah, this is it. This is where I had the epiphany about joining the military. This is where um, uh, I had the epiphany after looking at my dad's picture right over here. This is where my friends right down there would yell at me, say, Remy, come outside, come play. This is my bedroom. This is where a lot of things happen. This is the hallway. As you can see, I don't know if you remember the part in the book where my mom is in her room. I was writing reports. I want to go outside. My mom's in the room listening to music play. And then, you know, I had this bright idea. I'm going to come up against the door and sing along. And she's in there doing her thing, trying to prep myself before I went in and asked my mom if I could finally go play outside because we were on punishment for a long period of time. So this is the room. This is my mom's room. And there we go. There she is, right there, as always, reading. This is the, the bed used to be positioned against the wall, but this bed is still pretty much the bed that you know my mom was sleeping with me and my brother would hang out in. And another bookcase, I think this is the first bookcase we had. As you can see, it started with a whole lot of books because again, my mom was always into reading and writing and she got my brother and I into reading and writing. All right, last two things I gotta show you guys. All right, this is the door. So I don't know if you remember in the book, Devin came, rang my doorbell, bam, and he was right there. So this is the very hallway, as you can hear the echo from when I'm talking. And then, this is the very staircase, where, I don't know if you remember in the book, where I was contemplating turning to my mom's engagement ring to get some money. This is the very spot I did it in. This is a very staircase I would run down when my mom let me on punishment to let me go hang out with my, with my friends. I would jump down that flight of steps. As you can see, we're the third floor. I would jump down that flight of steps, run down the next flight of steps, and then I would be outside. So this is it, Remy MTV Cribs, or whatever you want to call it, Remy TV Cribs. This is it, Transform Book. Go get it if you haven't got it yet.